Was my experience at university worth the time and debt? Now, please don't use this video as an excuse as to why you might be having second thoughts about joining university or having thoughts about dropping out. Like I said, I'm just sharing my thoughts, my opinions, and overall, the entire time I spent at university and what that was like. Did I learn something? Was it worth it? Was it worth the time? Was it worth the mulala? Well, I'm here to tell you just that. Let's start right at the beginning. I was very lucky and very fortunate enough to get into something called a first preference. Now, in Australia, what that means is once you graduate from year 12, you sit something called the HSC. I believe it is different from state to state, so specifically in Sydney, you sit something called an ATAR. Now you get an ATAR score, and before you find out what your ATAR is, you list from one to five, or some people list from one to 10, what your first to 10th preference is in terms of course and in terms of university. Some people even throw in some TAFE options, or overseas, that's called college. College, I believe overseas is second to university. In Australia, TAFE is second to university. My first preference was for a degree called Commerce and Professional Accounting. That was the name of the degree. It was at a uni called Macquarie University. I entered university at the age of 17. Over the course of my entire degree, I literally made zero friends. I'm not even joking. From the age of 17 all the way to the age of 21, 22 at university, I made zero friends. No word of a lie. I couldn't personally connect to anyone there. Now, that was for a variety of reasons. Obviously, the age played a massive factor. Personally, I'm a very social person. Once I get talking, like right now, I don't really shut up. I'm a yap, 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 yap. The social aspect is not an issue. I'm not an introvert. I'm an extrovert. I just didn't get along with anyone. <laughs> I didn't get along with anyone in my courses, anyone in my degree, really. That's one thing. Secondly, how was the course content? How was my experience with learning? I could name maybe three courses where genuinely every single day and every single lesson I had as part of that class I learned something. Here's the issue. With university, you have your core units. So let's say I had my accounting and my business as my core units. You have a variety of other bits and bobs that you must do in order to complete the degree. Let's say for business and commerce, you need to know law. You need to know marketing. You need to know strategy. You need to know numbers. You need to know finance. You need to know statistics. Those I would consider as the core units. Outside of that, there are units that are an absolute waste of your time, but you must do them as extra credit units as part of the degree. Because in order to get your certificate at the end of the three to five years that you are sitting that degree, you must have a minimum number of credit or unit scores in order to get that piece of paper. It varies from course to course and from degree to to degree. I personally had in my degree like 10 random courses that I had zero interest in that I had to complete in order to get that piece of paper. You have to pay big bucks every single time you sit a unit, every single time you sit a course. It's not free. Here's the best analogy I can give for this experience. Let's say I sign up for a marketing job. I get the job and it's for marketing. However, somewhere in the fine print, it also says that I have to be the chef, the sustainability officer, the recruitment officer, and potentially even the barista. You can see where I'm going with this. There's a bunch of crap you didn't sign up for that you must do because it's your job. Or in this case, it is your degree, and if you don't do them, you don't get that piece of paper at the end of the degree. Outside of the venting, I'm gonna discuss some positives that I really do and truly believe came out of my experience at university. After three to four years, do I work in accounting? No. Do I run my own business? Yes. Do I do entrepreneurship? Yes. Do I do my own accounting? Yes. So there are some positives that came out of that. Do you really, truly implement and learn everything that you learned at university in your day-to-day -day activities, in your day-to-day -day work, just in general, your day-to-day. -day. With my degree, I would say 10% of what I learned I actually implemented in my day-to-day. -day. The thing with majority of degrees, especially in this era, especially in 2024, things change rapidly. And I mean 
rapidly. Perfect example is AI. If you are performing anything with regards to coding or even accounting, accounting is predicted to be redundant, almost redundant, in two years. Now, of course, I truly believe that the top 10% in any industry, no matter how proficient and how advanced AI gets, you will always survive the top 10% in your industry. I'm not personally sure how universities nowadays navigate this AI generated essays, reports, etc. I can only assume that pretty much everyone at university nowadays is just using AI to do their assessments, do the essays, do the reports. So how much are they really learning? Their time and their debt would be significantly less worth it in comparison to my experience. And it's like I said, I estimate that I took away 10% of what I learned. Now, I'm also gonna highlight some other areas quickly and briefly. The fact that universities promote alcohol, promote parties, promote politics, they promote ideologies, you don't want that crap in your face. You are only at university and you should only be at university, hopefully to make friends, which I didn't, um, but you should only be at university to learn. That's it, finish your degree, you're, you're done, you're out of there. You shouldn't be there to party. You shouldn't be there to worry about politics, shouldn't be there to worry about anything else other than your degrees. Back to some positives. I did actually learn a lot about finance, a lot about money, a lot about where to invest, a lot about saving, a lot about equity, a lot about assets, stocks, the list goes on. These are all things that you must learn in order to survive as a human, in order to make the correct decisions in your 20s, in your 30s, in your 40s, all the way to retirement. These are very important things that you never learned at school, ever. Those areas and that knowledge, I did really take away. And those are things that I now implement. You know, I can't say it was a complete waste of time. But when all is said and done, was it worth the time? Was it worth the debt? Was it worth the overall investment over three to four years? My honest answer for me, no. And I'll tell you why specifically. Right now, everything that I learned at university, you can learn right now for free. Search accounting, search how to be an accountant, search how to be a business owner, search what do I need in order to start a business, search what do I need in order to become an entrepreneur. You will find the answers to your question without having to spend three to four long years. And trust me, if they really wanted to, your degree would only go for one year, but they wanna make Money, 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 money of you. They want to milk the absolute crap out of you. Hence why there's 10 additional courses in units that they make you do in order to complete the degree that you absolutely did not sign up for. So because my opinion is that my degree could have been one to two years, and my opinion is that you could have literally learned everything on YouTube or even paid platforms that cost an absolute fraction of what university costed. You could have learned everything online. And mind you, I'm saying that from six years ago. I can't imagine the wealth of knowledge that is online right now, online today. I do think if I just went straight into business and had a part-time job in order to fund the business, I would have been light years ahead of where I am now. And that's factual because I would have had the additional two or three years of experience. And now light years in terms of knowledge, in terms of skill set. Whether or not I would have had a high income, that's debatable. Who knows? Only God knows. But what I'm saying is I would have instead preferred to enter business sooner rather than later. Let's say you get the degree. You aren't guaranteed shit. You get the degree and you aren't guaranteed nothing and you eventually wanna have a successful business, you don't bloody need no degree. You can learn everything online for free as discussed. Long story short, I personally don't think it was worth the time or the money or the investment. Personally, I would have preferred to enter business a lot sooner, learn the skills, just go on YouTube, learn the information, potentially even go into a paid source and spend the absolute fraction of what university costed me. If you enjoyed today's video, drop me a like, subscribe to the channel, and feel free to debate me in the comments down below. I'll see you beautiful people in the next video.